okay hi everyone so today let's uh, discuss this interesting problem so it says our body is weighted by a spring balance to be one kilogram at the north pole how much will it weight at the equator account for earth rotation only fine so we have to earth ka rotation consider karna hai. so this uh, this is the earth of uh, radius capital r it will be a perfect sphere right we have to consider the rotation karna hai. so we have shape ko, uh, perfect sphere lenge, earth ke. And uh, is tarah se ye axis hai, uh, jiske about earth rotate karti hai with some angular speed omega. Now we already know ki jo poles pe acceleration hai due to gravity, if we take it to be g, right, then equator pe kitna hoga g minus omega square into capital R. Because, aap dekho ki equator pe agar koi particle hai, ya phir koi bhi body hai, to wo ek circular path mein move karegi, jiska radius kitna hoga, equal to the radius of the earth. So, यहाँ पे centrifugal force भी लगेगा, जिसके कारण centrifugal acceleration आएगा, that is omega square into capital R. Rather, अगर हम poles पे बात करें, तो so वहाँ पे rotation का effect नहीं होता, so इस तरह से हम कह सकते हैं कि जो weight होगा, that is m into g, right? Mass of any body is constant, so जो weight होगा, that will be directly proportional to acceleration due to gravity. Now, let's say weight at uh, poles divided by weight at equator will be g at poles divided by g at equators right g at poles uh, ko agar hum is tarah se g lete hain then g at equator will be g minus omega square into capital r so yahan se we have to find out the weight at equator so check karo kitna aa raha hai r w p that is the weight at uh, pole uh, g minus omega square into capital r divided by g so that is nothing but w p 1 minus omega square into capital R divided by G that is the weight at equator so weight at pole uh, is 1 kilogram right so iska value ho jayega 1 kilogram omega dekho radius of earth will be 6400 uh, 1 2 3 meter right 6400 kilometer hota hai so you have to convert it to meter G ka value kitna loge that will be 9.81 meter per second square what is omega omega is the angular speed of the earth कैसे find out करेंगे? We already know the time period for one revolution. 2 pi के लिए जो time लगता है, that is 24 hours. 2 pi radian rotate करने के लिए, earth को कितना time लगता है? 24 hours. So 24 into, इसे हमें horse है, so इसे minute में convert करेंगे, और फिर second में convert करेंगे, इस तरह से. So this is angular speed. So ये value उठाके हम यहाँ put कर देंगे. So from here, uh, you will get the value of the weight of the body at the equator so i think you have understood let me know if you still have any confusion we can discuss further okay guys keep working out best of luck bye